Hello! So today I want to talk about my crystal journey. Um, I say today, I feel like it's going to take more than one video because I do have a tendency to ramble and there's like a lot I want to say. Um, but one of the main reasons I wanted to do this is to discuss my crystal journey and the fact that I'm now a crystal healer because I just think that it's not the most... I'm not going to say conventional because I don't think that's the right word but it's not like the typical path um, to become a crystal healer and I think that maybe sometimes people think you have to live life a certain way or be a certain way in order to do it and actually that's not true at all and I genuinely believe that anyone can work with crystals anyone could be um, a holistic therapist a crystal healer if they wanted to and if they open themselves up to that um, so yeah I just wanted to share my story because I think it will dispel hopefully some of those ideas that you have to be a certain type of person a certain way believe certain things your whole life um, and believe them outright in order to be a crystal healer so yeah so until like less than a year ago um, I, I didn't realise that crystals had properties, okay? I don't know, I just, it was, this was not on my radar. Um, I just, I didn't think about them, I just thought they were pretty, I didn't have any connection with them, um, I didn't realise they had properties, I didn't know this was a thing. Um, and then, in my muggle day job, we sell crystal jewellery, and my mum, family business, asked me to write some cards about what the different crystals mean. Um, and I kind of thought this was made up. I thought this was so stupid. I was like, why are we writing this? Like, it's just a pretty stone. Like, I didn't, didn't know where these came from. And I just, in my head, it was just like someone had just made this stuff up. And then I met a friend, a friend came into my life who is very spiritual, uh, very like crystally, for lack of a better word, and very open to the universe and energies. Um, and I remember that we were having a conversation and she mentioned that she was a crystal healer with a friend. And I was like, oh, I was like, where, is, where does this come from, this crystal healing? Like, what is it? Because um, again, I didn't really know anything about it. And then that's when I heard for the first time, she was like, right, science side. Crystals are made in the earth. They have energy. Humans have the same energy. Their energy vibrates with our energy. And it's the first time I heard the scientific side of it it wasn't literally just someone holding a stone and going uh this um there was a reason for why these crystals have properties and then this friend was like would you like a crystal healing session and i'm up for anything um and also like i've had a lot of therapies in my life um you know i've gone through trauma i've struggled with my mental health so i'm totally open to anything like that any sort of therapy any kind that might help me um i'm like yeah always always give it a go um so just before this I went to a crystal shop and I knew I was having it and I still was unsure but um, I went to this crystal shop um and I thought I'd get a few the idea was that I was going to get a few tumble stones I went into this crystal shop looked around and I saw these crystals I actually have them here for me one second I saw these crystals and I was like they are me like they were like barbie I just saw them they were like near each other and I was like they are the most barbie beth crystals I've ever seen and like so I didn't believe in crystals didn't know anything about them but I bought these I did buy some tumble stones too but these okay so I think this is a dyed clear quartz and this is an aura quartz um but yeah the, I just saw them and I was this is the first ever time that I was just I just saw them and I was like they are me those crystals are me I, I need those crystals so uh fast forward a bit went over to a friend's house um we were discussing crystals and things like that we both believe in it totally I'm totally open to it I want to learn you know I'm skeptical I'm not like oh 100 but I'm like yeah show me like let me listen let me see what I think um bearing in mind this was not that long ago um and before then like I'd gone on this quite rapid thing from not believing to believing so bearing in mind this wasn't that long ago um, and I feel like I'd learned a lot so quickly. So I'd gone from having no idea that these crystals were a thing to being told there was a scientific reason and that actually all these people, like I thought it was a really niche thing and actually all these people around me had believed in this the whole time. So this friend gave me the crystal healing session and oh my gosh, that was it for me. That was it. I was like, okay, yeah, these crystals, I'm on board. I'm on board with the crystals. Um, it was just... It's hard to explain if you haven't had it like I've done a few healing sessions on myself since and I tend to cry um they're just the sensations you feel um I mean am I a hundred percent 
is there a chance that it could be sort of the placebo effect and somewhat what you're doing to yourself because the mind is such a powerful thing? I think absolutely. Um, but also the fact it was so powerful, the feelings I felt, the fact that the person doing the healing was using the crystals to sort of feel things herself and was so accurate in the end, like about things I saw, things she felt, like we were totally connected. Um, and there was a piece of Labradorite on me that got really hot. Um, and it just, it felt like, and she said, and this is what it felt like to me, like it was the real protective stone. So when it, when it, when she went in and we found a little bit of darkness, I'd never had it before. So maybe it was mental health, past trauma. This stone, that was the one that was like really there, really protecting me. Um, so yeah, I, it just unlocked something in me. It really, I'd, it's a bit like if you didn't believe in something and then someone's like, here's the scientific proof. Um, or, you know, you didn't believe that getting hit would hurt and then they hit you and it hurt and you're like, right, that's it, I'm on board. Um, so yeah, it totally, totally opened the door. Yeah, as you can see, I don't think you have to believe in crystals your whole life. I don't believe you have to believe in any energies. Like I've always been open to the idea that there's this other energy in the earth, like, you know, the butterfly effect, like everyone has something for a reason. But yeah. I just think, like, whoever you are, if you want to get into crystals, don't think, oh, I'm not the right person, I can't, oh, I've not believed in it. Just, I don't know, follow your dream. Follow your dream. So cheesy. This story just shows, like, life can take you in massively different ways if you just let the door be open, like, let new ideas come in. Some will pass, some won't be for you, but some will really stick to you. Um, and don't turn them away just because you feel like the perception is that they shouldn't be for you. If they feel like they're for you, they are for you and yeah just keep doing you open yourself to everything whether that's new opportunities the universe crystals friendship like whatever you want in the world whatever you're working on just open yourself up and like honestly you might be amazed at what you can attract